That's it. And it come out. Sweet. Come out. Perfect. Pablo Picasso said the purpose of art is washing the dust of daily life off our souls. The Uncharted Waters Project did that for all of us. It was a new chance to connect in a different way and to create art collaboratively. Hi, I'm Robin Haywood, and I'm here to talk to you about Uncharted Waters. My role has been the creative concept of the Art Pieces itself and Art Lab, and co-collaborated with my uh, fellow uh, group here, and um, really had to kind of think about what the experience was going to be for our artists. And really starting from content meaning, what does this mean, and how are they going to be involved, and really make connection with the art itself. And I was quite excited because the more I thought about our sponsor, Bridgewater Swim Academy, and their beliefs and philosophy, I thought how much this really pertained to the art itself. That they talk about safety, technique, and confidence. And that's something we do every day and things that we learn. And I thought how bold and how wonderful this would be for our artists to really incorporate what they do. And I started thinking more about the swimming and the instruction and thinking about our bodies and that confidence and thinking, well, why won't we paint with our bodies? Why can't we use those safe movements of confidence and technique that they use in the pool or the lake um, and incorporate that into our movements of paint for these individuals who are going to have an opportunity to do this collaborative art project for the very first time. So we use body stroke movements that mimic breaststroke, um, also a streamline, and to really have them connect to the project. We had to deal with hyper and hyposensitivity issues, so we incorporated things with fuzzy gloves or textured gloves and to make it bold and to go beyond just what you can't do, but what we can do and give everyone an opportunity. So with that, we also incorporated printmaking, which is probably one of my favorites as well, and people don't realize how many different types of printmaking there are, so we incorporated bubble wrap. Uh, we incorporated plastic where we got to draw circles and um, much everything was effervescence uh, related to water since this was uncharted waters for us as a group to come together and create a collaborative project for Art Town. Um, everything had a meaning and what we found at the Art Lab is the parents and guardians were just as excited to see the new discovery and what we were, what we were creating. Um, in addition to the large scale canvases, we also have a series of watercolor prints. And again, we wanted to bring in the wonder. So by painting with water and creating a blind painting and then using droplets with um, various vibrant colors and seeing how they expand and, and bleed into one another and create another color. And then when, even when they dry, how different they look. And we have intersecting circles where all of the individuals got to participate, all our artists, as well as um, uh, just how they overlapped and creatively concept. So um, really this is a very special project. We hope you all take time to come down and see it. Yeah, and can you follow the lines like you did before? Can you do it around the edge? Remember? Yep, and keep going. That's good, so our whole- I like that. I know, I like that too. And keep going, because that's what's making it so special. That's it. Perfect. You want to do little ones? Okay. So remember, you start start in the air, making little circles in the air. There you go. Good. 
Oh, nice. There you go. So now, if you could dip it in the water, you're, and then make little circles on the paper. My name is Pam Black, and I'm uh, the mother of Shane Rocha, who has Down syndrome, who's 34 years old and is in around here climbing. Michael? Mike Black, and I'm the stepfather, and we keep Shane really busy, mainly due to her activity. <laughs> motivates him. The How primary thing it? that motivates him is swimming. He loves to swim. If he could swim six days a week, he would do it. So he just loves to swim. And so he's on a Special Olympics team. Um, but I, I get him into running and then I got him into climbing because it's good for processing and that type of thing. And so I decided if I should do it. So at 67, I'm doing it too. And I do Senior Olympics and he does Special Olympics. <laughs> and, and so anything I can find that I can get him into, he does weightlifting also. Um, and just anything I can find. Hiking, Shane has traveling. Shane tried everything. He's tried downhill skiing. He's tried cross country skiing. He's tried snowshoeing. He's tried boxing. He has tried golf. He has uh, tried soccer. There isn't hardly a sport out there that he hasn't done. Confront that or. It's difficult sometimes because they tend to have lower expectations of. of people with disabilities and so they treat them a lot of times they'll treat them as very infantile and um, that that frustrates me they, they keep the bar low so I try to counteract that um, by getting him involved with me at the same time so that I have a hand on it too um, so sometimes I'll volunteer. We volunteered for coaches. We were coaches for soccer for 10 years for people with disabilities. And so we had a hand in it that said, you know, yeah, you, they have their idiosyncrasies. Like they would kick the ball periodically. Um, and then periodically it went into their goal and not the other person's goal. But you just kept them moving and you kept your hand in there as far as the expectations go. Okay. And tried to up, up the bar. So. Art is, a, art is important in everybody's life. Art, whether it be drawing, painting, photography, um, uh, music, singing, it, it's all art, it's all important, it's good for your mind, it's, it's good for your soul, it's good for everything. aspect of it, you know. Um, we went to Vienna, Austria. With Shane. And, <laughs> and in Austria, they pretty much just hide all their people with disabilities away. Yeah. And they were, the kids in school were just fascinated talking to Shane and realizing he'd been all over the world and all the things he'd done and they just had no conception of a person with disabilities yeah. being able to do those sorts of things. They had never met anybody with a disability. Yeah. No.